All right, what's going on guys? Got another coaching video for you today. I'm quite excited because today we're going to be coaching one of my friends and also it looks like he's been playing some Nasus, so it could be quite interesting. So let's get this guy in the call and uh, see how this goes. I'm calling him. Oh no, he didn't answer. Okay, so let's look over his OPGG. So he's, he's been an Orn main for a long time, um, and he's recently started playing some Nasus. I guess uh, he might have been watching my channel, but yeah, it's all on, 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 and then Nasus, 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 on. So let's have a look at his Nasus. So Trinity Force with Frozen Heart and Stone Plate. Uh, let's see if he's picking up the Dark Seal and stuff. Uh, yeah, he's got the Dark Seal. He's got the runes against... What's he against? He's against Gangplank here. He's got the correct runes. He's using Aerie. He's using Scorch. Uh, he got the Ace Badge, so I'm assuming this game went pretty well for him. Looks like he bullied out the Gangplank quite hard. So this might have been a good game. This one doesn't look so successful. But Garen is a hard matchup. He has taken the Phase Rush. He's been Emaxing. So struggling a bit more in the Garen matchup. And then the Poppy matchup actually doing really well in getting MVP. Okay, that's good, because the Poppy matchup's not the easiest matchup in the game either. Um, but it looks like he completely dumpstered her, so maybe starting to find his stride on the Nasus. Phase Rush, Emax, Dark Seal. Uh, yeah, good runes. EQEW. Ah, hello? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Did I want to just quickly check myself on push to talk because Anna's doing D and D in the background? Ah, okay. <laughs> how are you doing, man? You having a good day? Uh, yeah, I'm doing alright. How are you? I'm doing good. I've just been looking over your OPGG. I've seen you playing some Nasus. Yeah, I decided to give that a try after uh, you started uploading the videos. Yeah. It took me a while to get it to work. I tried it more on the Smurf and eventually got it consistently. Okay, it looks like you had two good games and one game that didn't go so well like the gangplank game looks good from just from the post-match thing right and the poppy game looks good and then the garen game seems like a bit of a struggle yeah uh i don't know i have a bad habit of playing like at four in the morning i don't even remember that game uh, okay. it was probably i was like oh i beat one on the smurf which is i'm like Genuine, like, dog shit yeah. pistol, not even as pistol as I am. And I was like, oh, it'll be easy to just beat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I probably fought with him. <laughs> right. So, what's the plan? Are we doing Nasus today or are we doing Orm? Do you have a preference? Sorry, I'm on push to talk. I was grabbing the can out of the fridge. Uh, I'd be happy to do the Nasus thing. I've got a pretty decent group right. of Orn. Yeah, uh, let's, let's hype. If you're up for doing Nasus, like Nasus even though you've made so much Nasus no, content. I'm, I'm always happy to do Nasus. All right, cool. I'm going to do some Nasus games. Or nice. a Nasus game. I don't know how long you're around for. Uh, uh, yeah, right. I, can, I can be around for a while. All right, cool. Let's try. Uh, I need you to tell me how good, how good the stream quality is because. Uh, there are two. We have the option of two internet sources in this house. Both okay. are monkeys' paws. Uh, Houston uh, has good ping, mm -hmm. but bad download speed. DS9 has good download speed, but is prone to awful ping spikes. Like nine hundred. Like I've Orn ulted before, and then not seen the RAM come, and then the games came back, and the RAM's no longer there anymore. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks okay for now, but nothing's happening, so it tends to. Yeah, we're on DS9 right now, so this is the awful pink spike. Well, hopefully we don't get too many awful pink spikes. Uh, it's just doing the standard Discord blurry stream thing. I don't know if there's any way to fix it. It just seems to always do this. Uh, let me check stream settings. I've tried like every setting I can try in while I've been making these. Videos, but 
I don't know, Discord stream quality just seems terrible. Let's have another Google. Uh, yeah, I've got it on 1080p 60fps. <laughs> I would put it up to 1440, but this monitor is 1080p anyway, so on, all it's really going to give you is a better colour at that point because I'm only outputting a 1080 uh, video. Hmm. Yeah, nothing I can find on Google is telling me how to fix this, so it just seems like a bunch of people having the same problem. I think Discord screen sharing is just bad. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if there's anything better that we can use, but I'd be happy to like try some things if you've got the time. I, I, we don't have the time right now because yeah. we're going into this, but yeah, maybe look. I can, ex I can explore options with you. Wait, how can I hear you? There we go. We're in Discord. <laughs> Yeah, but the computer's audio is muted. <laughs> I'm like, how can I hear you right now? <laughs> but one theory, if you turn your stream quality down to like 720, one theory that I have is that like it can't keep up, so it deliberately sets itself lower. Whereas if you manually set it lower, it... You get okay, cool. Do you have the runes memorized? I don't have to go and pull up uh, the yeah, slides. Yeah, against Renekton, yeah. Go, um, yeah. I'd go Phase Rush. Mana flow, transcendent, scorch, and then bone plating with um, unflinching. And then just swap that armor shard in the middle for adaptive force. I forgot to lock in, I forgot to lock in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, grab the adaptive force there. there you, you can take airy in this matchup, and it's good. Um, but we'll see if there's anything that you need phase rift for in the rest of the game. Oh wait, is it Gwen? I think it's Renekton mid, right? Yeah, it could potentially be. So against Gwen, you want to change it up. You want to go, obviously the magic resist child instead of armor. And then you want to swap your main tree for uh, lethal tempo. With presence of mind. That's triumph, you definitely need presence of mind. Uh, the tenacity. And last stand. Yep. And then... I like Mana Flow Transcendence as my other thing. Yep. Basically what we're, what we're going to do with this is that once we hit level 6, if she tries to dash in on us, we just kill her. Oh yeah. That's like what the lethal tempo lets us do. The long loading screen. Um, 
So, did you watch the full NASA's guide? Because that was the, I think that was the first time I showed my new anti heal tech, which is quite good against Gwen as well. Have you seen that? Can I not hear you, or are you just wish to talk still? Right, sorry, uh, I was having a conversation with Anna, and I ah. tell her, okay, she's like, oh, I can move out of the living room if you want. <laughs> Two seconds, I'll switch back to voice activation. All right, nice. Cool, I always forget about the push to that one. Oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, uh, I watched uh, the the Gangplank video, and then okay. since then I've been going to your matchup video, like that yeah, yeah. video for the slides. Uh, okay. So if you grab uh, earring, pretty much always the earring. Yeah. And go and cover right, okay. the tribush. Yeah, the fucking. Sorry, my volume was like all fucked up. Uh, that's right. Yeah, my volume was all fucked up there because uh. I've got a two channel headset and it was turned all the way to chat for some reason, so it was opening and closing the shop because I'm like, I can't hear anything, where's the audio? Yeah. A lot of the time I'll just walk and throw an E on that, but you know, the bush that they normally sit in. Yeah, that's one. Cool. Yeah, just because if, if I get a mana flow, it's really nice, and that's all I'm looking for. Cool. So what time should I run up? I just go now. All right, cool. Now. Sometimes they're in it, sometimes they're not, but if you go now, then you just leave. Like, by the time lane starts, you'll get your mana back anyway. Uh, uh, I need some driver off. So, what do you think we're wanting to do with the wave in this matchup? Uh, have a push into us. Yep. Yep. So, what are we going to do with the first E? That is a good question. <laughs> so what are we going to do? The with best, the, po the best possible first E is to get the first three melee minions and hit yeah. her, but not hit the caster uh, minions. So, you don't want to hit this wave either. So you can just stay where you are. Yeah. Do you want right. to let it come into you? Mm -hmm. And when she walks in, you can try to E all of the front minions and her without Eing the back minions. Cool. Uh, they it set them. ticks them a little bit. Yeah, you've got to be careful because they walk into it. Yeah. But it's okay because Gwen is a champion that um, we can show you some tricks on getting the wave to push into you. And now you just yeah. want to be mindful that when you're Eing the wave, she could have EQ'd yeah. you there. Yeah, spacing was a bit off. Cool. You wanna um yeah, be mindful of where you E. Like you don't want to hit excess minions with your E, you just wanna like a lot of the time you'll throw it off to the side. Cool. You definitely wanna use an E at some point to get your uh, mana flow, yep, which you've now got. So now you can go back to like not Eing for a while, but you wanna stack that mana flow up as fast as you can. Okay, so we collect this wave under tower, and then we're going to need to do something to make it start pushing into us again, because it's going to start pushing into Gwen off of the tower bounce. Yeah. Alright. And I'm assuming she took her cheater's recall, or whatever Probably, it's called, yeah. the term for it, yeah. Yep. You'd stack that minion. You still you still want to stack as he makes Nasus. It's just not yeah. not like so I would E her and the casters here, because we want to crash this. So you want to start being yep. like very aggressive with your E. And then again the next wave you just E her and the casters. It's a good time to drop a ward because you are vulnerable now. That's good. Just yep, just E her and the wave. And if she wants to fight you in this giant wave, cool. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck that. Not the end of the world. No. Always be mindful about getting your Q for the cannon. So, like, there you yeah. missed 12 I'd, stacks. I'd, uh, and yeah, now you want to immediately base. Yep, get Dark Seal. Yep. 
Uh, well, I would get the, um... I'd get the... Get boots and the amp helm, that's what it's called. I couldn't think of the name of it. Oops. This is a new adaptation I've made. Instead of Dark Seal, I'll go Amp Tome. Uh, yeah. And then later, you want to start running to lane as fast as possible as well. Yeah. Um, try to be mindful of how quick you're getting out of your base and back onto yeah, the map for tempo. Um, yeah, so later down the line, like after CDR boots, I'll get the um, Oblivion Orb. And then I've got yeah. anti heal against Gwen. But it basically yeah. does the same thing as Dark Seal right now. It gives you the E breakpoint. Sure. So here, this is gonna bounce into her anyway, so now you can you can E her. And it's fine, because it's not like you're pushing. Like it's gonna yeah. push anyway. And once you get level six, remember that if she tries to all in you, you can just wither her pop ult and auto her down with Lethal tempo, but if you can dodge any Qs or ults, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. Now I'd look to be a bit less, like, e her if she's off to the side or something, so that you're not hitting the minions, but I'd want to be a bit less, um... That way I, works, I guess a, a, bit, a bit more mindful of letting the wave come in. Yep, fuck. So like here, yep, that's perfect time to e her, and auto Q. yep, good. If she ults you like that, you can just wither her and kill her. Yeah. Mm. You could have eat her again there. Yeah. So now you need to recall. So either wave. Either wave. Mm -hmm. It'll take a little bit of getting used to knowing exactly where your E is going to hit the whole wave. Because with the level 5 and amp tome, your E would just kill that entire wave and you could just base. <laughs> just one shots them. Cool. Uh, so Oblivion. Um, yeah, you can go. Right. Uh, I think it's probably better to get magic resist here. No uh, magic. We're going to build that into Negatron eventually. Yeah. We're going to go CDR boots, Negatron cloak. And then probably... Yeah, 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 TP for that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You want to reset this wave? So what I would have done here... I'll, I'll, I'll talk uh, about it after because it's a lot to yeah. take in while playing so try to let you focus while you're playing and then we can talk about these things after and then we can try again should that be aggressive with the wave right now or yeah because just... it's pushing away from you so you want to yeah. like i call it resetting the wave but like you want to yeah. get it back into that position that you want it in. Oh, I wouldn't pay attention. I thought. That's fine. It doesn't do too much damage right now. Mm -hmm. Can't tell whether I prefer watching it in full screen or not, because when it's when it's smaller, it's less blurry, but then it's small. Yeah. Weird. Mm -hmm. I just want to EQ right now. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. Oh, if she ever does that, then if she ever does that, then yeah, you eat her. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to mess a cannon. No, that's good.
to here, you know, like on the corner of that bush, you could have thrown your E there and it would have hit Gwen, but not the minions. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show you after. Uh, that's, uh, no, I meant, I know you meant earlier, but I wanted to like pass yeah. if it would have hurt yeah. there. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Uh, that didn't come out late enough. Shit. We can E here, because it's going to crash. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Now we're looking to reset again. So... Just ult straight away, by the way. You always want to ult early. Because what happened there is your first Q didn't benefit from the ult cooldown reduction. Um. <laughs> Why is there an ash in a, a, a yeah. movie? Yeah. That was my thought as well. There. I was not expecting a level five ash to just come yeah. out the top lane. Alright, can you get you can get CDR boots and Null and Negatron, but you can't quite get Oblivion, but that's fine. We'll get Oblivion later. Not sure how long I, I also, wanna stay. I don't think I've I don't think I've bought a control board this season. In lane phase. Jesus, poor. <laughs> well. Is there a reason behind that, or is it just... <laughs> I don't think they're useful. I think they're uh, a waste of 75 gold. Yeah. I, I normally try to, like... They just took care of it, unfortunately, but I normally try to keep it on one of those. Did that just eat the cooldown and not give me the stack? Yeah, if it happens at the exact moment it dies, it does that, and it's really annoying. Um, yeah, the, the reason I don't think that's important is that if you are if you drop a pink on Herald, right? If you have Pryo, they're not going to be doing Herald, because you have Pryo. And if you don't have Pryo, you can't defend the pink ward, so they'll just kill it and do Herald anyway. And you've just given them 25... You've spent 75 gold to give them 25 gold. Mm. The issue is, is that this is still like Pestle, so like normally, yeah, in uh, situations where you have Pryo, they wouldn't do that. I have seen junglers just approach Herald when uh, the when the enemy mid and the enemy top both have Pryo and they just immediately get collapsed on by three people. Well, if I could probably does that, I mean, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> That's how you can eat her here. Cool. Yeah. Once you've got all your like you've got your mana flow stacked, you can start being basically on cooldown and the only thing you have to worry about is like am I going to hit minions? So that if that was just aimed slightly better and it hit her but not the wave, that would have been a really good E. Yeah, that's that's the that's the sort of thing you want to practice, you know? Like look for yeah. those. Try to judge the range of it better. And if she starts pushing, then you can no. you can start being more liberally, like you don't need to worry so much. But it's going to be difficult to stop this wave crash. So now you can just E however you want. Bad. I think I fucked it out again. That's okay. Just don't get hit by this Gwenel. Uh, yep. And then you can just E the wave. I would look to just E this whole wave. Like, you auto attack the melees, you E right in the middle of it. Yep. And the ranged will just die. And then you can base. And this gives you basically perfect gold for um, Sheen plus Oblivion Orb. But here's another thing you're going to have to sell your control ward now. Or your, yeah. or your pot. Like, one of them is going to have to be sold. <laughs> 
Not the reward. Uh, you just walk here because it's a neutral wave, so you don't need to TP. Yeah. Um, so you can see dragons coming up. At this point, once you get through like the early lane, which is like where we're at now, we're starting to get into mid-game, this is where you want to start saving your TP for objective play. Yeah. But the main goal here should be, is there any way we can get this dragon? Yeah, I normally do that uh, beyond 10 minutes. Like Once it becomes unleashed, I don't yeah. really use it for the lane anymore. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, Storm killed him. My fucking dumb brain. So yeah, I'll once he gets to this point, I'll normally just start eating them in the face a lot because I actually want to push. Because if you push, then it's easier for you to TP than it, than it is for them. I did that again. That's all right. You see how the lethal tempo is like letting you just smack her in the face. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm dying. <laughs> no. That's okay. It's just not quite knowing the limits. Not and the ult again. Yeah. Ooh, is there anything that I want to get rid of or swap or what right now? Uh, I don't think so. The only thing you could consider is swapping pot for ruby crystal, but I think it's fine. Eventually you'll swap the pot for the half-bound axe. Yeah. Oh, they're already covered up. Uh... Should I be heading down to this, or...? Uh, I would push the wave. wave in. Yeah, yeah, I would have shoved the wave. Was... The original plan was to just go wave. And then I would proxy now, when uh, the next one comes, because Gwen's going to be dead. And the next one's coming in now. Yeah, you look at the minimap and see where your minions are, and theirs will be. Yeah, that was sort of judge where the next one was. Sure, you stack the cannon. I will do. Bastard! <laughs> Just wither her and leave. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no blasting coming here. Shit. <laughs> okay, so there, if you just withered the ash and altered, you could just walk yeah. away from a Mumu and then flash over the wall after, like once you got to where the blast cone's meant to be. Yeah, I panicked. <laughs> I was ash, ash is not following you if you wither. She's just going to yeah. slow to a complete halt. I panicked a lot in that situation. I put point and Q and everything. Like, it was scary. That's alright. The more you get used to like what the champ can do, the... Less your panic. It's also more so the fact that I have someone sitting over me watching everything I did. Is yeah, it I know. Yes. <laughs> if you on edge, every little dumb mistake I make is like someone's watching it now. I mean, it's, I, I know it's easy to say, but just try to relax. Like, the point isn't to flame you, the point is to explain. Like, things that you do wrong that you know you do wrong, There's, yeah. it's not like I'm helping with that, but it's, it's the things that you don't see that I need to show you, you know? Yeah, I feel like I'm not much of a factor in this game right now. Anyway, I feel like I've not really been looking around the map this game. I'm more just been trying to focus on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Oh, fuck, weather was on cooldown when I pressed it. Uh, run away. Alright. I think, again, I think a lot of these you should be winning, but you're just not yeah. quite executed. executing them properly, and we'll go through that. Go. Uh, Alright. This does Anything happen, though, when... I'm just waiting for Trinity Force Gold now. Alright, okay. Um, uh, you go bot here, yeah. Yeah. When um when you play Lethal Tempo for the first time, this this does happen. Like you yeah. didn't make the most out of Lethal Tempo. You kind of weren't you weren't auto attacking enough. Like you had a lot more attack speed than you thought you did. Yeah. Uh, I also fucked up the first Q thing again. Oh my god, the weather just went to shit outside. Uh, let's see. Right, now this this is a matchup I can understand a little bit. Leave me alone. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> Say, yeah, ordinarily, you wouldn't have to be too scared of him, but you built magic resist instead of armor, so yeah. just ult early. It's really important. Cool. You see the attack speed? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, without the armor, you die. Struggle. I don't actually know how strong this Renekton is because I can't see his items. Everything's so boring. Uh, yeah, he has Gore Drinker and Chem, uh, Chem Punk Chain Sword. Okay, yeah, so it's he's two items, so he's pretty strong. Mm. So it's good going into objective fights, it's good to create almost like a plan in your head as to who am I eing, who am I withering. Uh withering Kaisa trying to e Renick to not remember the guess. Yeah, I point. think you can also wither Gwen and that's fine too. I think Oh fuck. Then you wanna E yeah, you wanna E a Mumu or Renek then. But if Gwen's yeah. diving your backline, you can just E her, because then your backline will shred her. Yeah. But yeah, E is like, it's such a invisible source of power, like you don't actually see it doing anything, but it's doing so much. Yeah. Like it's, it's literally a full stacked black cleaver and then another half of a full stacked black cleaver on top of that AoE, so. Yeah, I remember uh, the season years ago, uh, like the dynamic queue, I used to play like E Max and as a spec then as well, but I never understood how it fully worked at that point, I just understood it was really strong. Well, back in the day, it used to do, I think it was 35 flat armor reduction. So it just took yeah. 35 armor off them, but these days it takes away 45%. So, like, it's so much stronger than yeah. it used to be. So here, there's something that I would definitely be looking to do. Um, that I don't think you've noticed. What's that? I would base him by Trinity, because it's a huge spike. Yeah, so I'm not that's that. I was too focused on getting the turret. And then you can uh, go and try and defend the top. What items does Gwen have? I think she might uh, she she might has, be a little um, strong. Yeah, she's quite strong. I mean, Wrathmaker, Blast and Wand, Recurve Bow, Amp Thome, Don't Threaten. If she, if she misses like, a QE like, to try and go in on you, then you could fight her, but... Otherwise, I probably wouldn't at this point. I think she'd be far ahead. So if you like bait her to go on you and dodge the QE. She just use Q and I mean, uh, she should already back out. The, stacks, important, yeah, the important spell for a lot of champions, like for, against Riven, Fiora, Gwen, yeah. the important skill is the dash. Because if they use yeah. their dash and put it on cooldown, you can wither them and then you just walk at them and beat them in the f and like they can't stop you. Yeah. Whereas the Q, she can like you could wither and she can just dash away. So then I bet I'm more forgetting cool then. Fuck. There we go. 
Do I just want to shove this, or do I want to keep a slow pushing so that I can get some of these stacks? Uh, I would stack here, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stack while building a wave, and then you can look to... I would probably fast push the next one, and then look to hover my team. Oh, so they're just rushing Baron then? Yep. So you can push this in and then go Baron. Okay. Remember that at this point in the game, Wither lasts as long as it's cooldown, so as they're approaching, you can just keep someone permanently withered. Went on Gwen. Yeah, Gwen looks like a good Wither target there. And now move it to Kaiser. Nice. I did something, I did something, let's go! <laughs> the Wither Key. You should be able to buy a Abyssal after this. Oh. Why did she hate me so much? No! <laughs> That's such bullshit. After the high of doing something. Right, what was that like? I think we can get an Abyssal, a full Abyssal. And then we'll start going Frozen Heart. Yep. We can get a cloth armor towards the Frozen Heart. I was just sitting back in my chair. How much has the Oblivion Orb done? Let's have a little look. Seven eighty. Yeah, it's reasonable. I suppose they do have Rannington and Gwen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just like a more expensive Dark Seal that gives a bit more AP and a lot of utility. So how often are you going uh, Oblivion Orb over? Is it just when they have healing? or It's, is it it's just... literally specifically to counter healing, yeah. I do it against like yeah. Aurelia, Warwick, Fiora. Yeah, Some, I played the Warwick like... matchup on the, uh, on the Shatter account. Uh, it's that was... the second worst matchup in the game. Like, I ban all yeah, of be... and then... After that, if it's Warwick, I, I just dodge. Yeah, you said uh, you said in the video, you're like, oh, it's the second worst, but I'd already gone into the loading screen. Uh, I got <laughs> to experience that. I genuinely just sat there, and anytime he came near me, I withered him, put phase rush, ran away. Uh, fuck! And then uh, I ended up winning the matchup just by, like, outscaling him, like you said in the video, so go me. Nice. Uh, I should probably... the, the problem you have is that he can just freeze forever, and you can't do anything. I didn't mean to press though. Come here. Not this again! <laughs> <laughs> These ash arrows are the bait of your existence. Come here. Uh, another thing that I I've feel noticed like I've been is a ghost. Yeah, I noticed that like as soon as we got another I fucking hate my life. <laughs> I am the fucking heavy brick on this team right now. <laughs> That's all right. We're just learning he's not experience. Go, yeah, these normally don't go with us, but oh, and I've wheeled my chair over my mouse uh, my headphone wire like three separate times. <laughs> go me. <laughs> I am free. Uh, there we go. Right. Can I get anything? Yeah, I can almost get buckler, but I won't have enough for it. Uh, should I sell the run ring for buckler? No. Okay. Definitely not. That's not worth. No. <laughs> Uh, until the barns are actually three minutes. So against someone who you're losing the side lane into, you just clear his waves so that he can never get pressure. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll just eat all of this now. Okay. And then look to move to the team, because they're okay. doing something in bot side jungle. Okay. 
just that. Thank you. So is this being live streamed right now, or is it just... No, I'm just recording. Ah, uh, okay. So push this one as well. Yeah. Uh, push, push deep here. Why, why do you think I want you to push deep? Because Vlad's pushing deep. Yeah. Want to generate yeah, some pressure after... for this guy? Yeah, I want to match him. Vlad should have just slowed down a bit. And waited for yeah. bottom mid. But... Is that three open in hips now? I mean, if they look to fight mid, you can just take their bottom hip. Yeah. No, do not ult me. Do not ult me. Shield oh, mid. this is their entire team. Jesus. And my entire team is responding instead so of just taking the other. Ramus has a right idea, go Ramus. Yeah, keep keep walking up here, because now you've got Ramus who you want to make pressure for. Yeah. Don't trust him enough to just be in that area as well. Ideally, they would go back to Who's that? Yeah, you can no, just... So here, there's not really any downside to just throwing out Withers on people, because Lux can then throw her spells at them. So, like, the Renekton and the Gwen, you can just Wither them, and then Lux gets basically a guaranteed QE. Yeah. Because it's such low cooldown, you can be liberal. Okay, just go and hit the inhib, I think. If they run, if they commit to top. Yep. With the Yep. Nice. See how the Renekton can't do anything? <laughs> yeah. Good E. I would ult and take the turrets here. I just did that like you as well. Whatever they are, let's try and get in and get something. Yeah, it's really good to like what you were doing there is really no! good. But that's not so good. But where, where you like where you like stand on the outskirts of the fight on low HP and just look to wither people, yeah. that's what I'll do when I'm low as well. Yeah, I normally try like because I normally play tanks, I will try to stay in a fight for as long as possible and provide as much utility as possible. That's good, you definitely so, want to do that on that. Like a lot of the, unless you got a giant shutdown, it's worth dying to get extra withers out. Yeah. Alright. You know how to send replay files? Uh, <laughs> I, I should make a yeah, video on this. Yeah, yeah, I, do. I'm just, I know how to send replay files, my right, client nice. is just shitting itself right now. Yeah, every every uh, episode, I'm like explaining how to send replay files. So I should probably. Oh my god, I got uh, I got mastery five off that game. That was Huge. such a great game for that. Okay, let's see. Play again, and then we can uh, match us download it. Uh, documents. League of Legends, replays. Yeah, I know it does. Uh, let's see. Which one is it? It's that one there. You just slap that into the uh, all of that. Uh, uh, add a thingy. I was just going to fucking slap it in the uh, Discord and just send it straight to you. Oh, you got Nitro? Yeah, I got Nitro. Alright, you can do that as well. But uh, it's already a one tier thing. Yeah, it's okay. a one tier thing. Uh, anyway. Okie okay, doke. Mm. Yeah, it's just for people that don't have Nitro. They're only like 20 meg files. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it's still too big. I'm not sure what yeah. the limit is. I thought the limit was up to like 50 now. For people that don't pay. Oh, I had a guy 
the other day who said it was telling him that it was uh, too large file size. Mm. This one. Yeah, hopefully this isn't as blurry for you as it has been for me, but we'll see. Right, let's see. What this part? Stop this. Right, on you go. Okay. So start of the lane. Um, a lot of the time I'll just sit a little further back, but like on the on the canning on the caster creeps is about right. Uh, your yeah. E, I believe your E does sixty nine damage. Yeah, it does, which is you know it's a good number. Uh, so when yeah. these creeps, I, I normally just click on the one that's taking least damage, and when it's about to get to 69, that's when I'll eat. So you missed one there, but that's not the end of the world. But the, the Did you say the one that's taking the least damage and then hit E, or...? Yeah, when, when, the, when the last one gets to 69, then I know it will yeah. kill them all. Cool. Uh, but she's autoing a lot, so even though your E hit these back creeps, it doesn't really matter. So if we if we track you, I like Eing on mana flow CD, right? So mana flow is up now. So now I would be looking for an E. So I would probably put my cursor here. Can you see my cursor? Yeah. I'd probably put my cursor here and E. If you imagine the E like this. Yep. So it would just tag the Gwen but not hit the wave. So I'd be looking to E here to prop my mana flow and deal some extra damage. I feel mm. like a lot of the all-ins you are losing because she wasn't poked out enough. Right. Or like yeah, e, normally I would, e, I would e here, you know, like yeah. there, and now I would e up here. So you wanna you wanna find these e's, especially on mana flow CD where it's hitting her but not the wave, because she's just yeah. walking up and asking for it. She's not playing around it at all. Oh, missed right. Yeah. I know it did hit. She... I think you got a pick or something because you got your mana flow. All right. Yeah, one of my main issues, I'd say, is that I've been trying to, like, rapidly improve recently, and one of the main things I've been doing now is, like, looking at the runes, because I'm going to be honest, a lot of the runes, I don't have a full understanding of them. Okay. So, like, you're playing around your mana uh, flow cool there. Yeah. And th that was genuinely the first time I'd ever looked down and seen the little mana flow <laughs> cool there. Oh, okay. I mean, that's good. That's yeah. something that you've learned. Um, so, yeah, now it's just a case of collecting groups. Nope, minion block. Yeah. That happens a lot to me. Uh, me and the top lane minions have an ongoing beef. <laughs> you, yes, yes, you've never been really like on, You don't yeah, miss too you've much. Never been on, you've never been on comms with me during a game, but you will at least hear me like... But not that game because I wasn't quite as energetic because I am being watched and recorded, but normally it would just be minions every now and then. Because <laughs> they just fucking surround me. <laughs> So yeah, this is where um, now it's pushing away from us, and this is not what we want at all. So we want to try yeah. and fix this. So like, as soon as she walks up here, I'd be eating the whole wave and her. Because mm -hmm. I'm wanting to push, so now it goes from how can I get the least amount of minions in my E possible, to now how can I get the most amount of minions in my E possible. Yeah. So, I mean, you still want to be getting your stacks. Good, but I would be eating here. Like that, that's good. Yeah, it's not bloody, but there's like a weird, like, it's like I bought a pirate DVD, I'm hearing the audio before I see the video. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so yep, just keep eating, and level 5 with the Amp Tome, your E's going to start doing a lot of damage to so. Which is going to be after we crash this wave and reset. Yeah, one of the main issues I had to learn, like, a lot of the stuff that I did uh, in those games, like I said, I played till 4am, a lot of those games on the 
on the shirt account and on this one would have probably been in one day. Uh, so I get so tired that I stop retaining what I'm doing. <laughs> so it would have went well, but one of the main issues I remember having, and it was if I'd been left on my own devices, I would have had it again, is that I didn't understand how your ease were like every time I would poke someone down, I'd be constantly pushing the wave, and I was like, "How's he doing this without like how's he freezing and eating like this?" But now yeah. I understand that you're strategically placing your ease like in spots where they overstep, but avoiding the minions at the same time. Yeah, you, you need to be um, avoiding hitting the minions. Yeah. Okay, this is a small thing, but yeah. it'll give you big benefits. So what mm -hmm. you did here is you walked all the way up here and recalled. You can just walk yeah. here behind this rock where they can't see you and recall. And if she comes to stop you, she's going to miss the wave, and then you can just stay. And if she doesn't, yeah. then you get a really fast recall, and you come back really quick. Like, you recall sure. here. While you're recalling, you open the shop, you find the items you're going to buy. Mm -hmm. But you see, still walking. Still walking. Yeah. Still walking. Now, basically. I have, I've learned, to, or I've taught myself to walk all the way back, because I have the most horrid luck. If I hide behind that rock and start to recall, it's like everybody gets TFO on me. They just know. And um, <laughs> <laughs> every single time without fail. So, yeah, I'll try hiding behind the rock this time and recall. And then, like, uh... The the slow shopping, a lot of it is that, like, you don't know, like, we're what kind of we're talking about what to buy, yeah, rather than yeah. you having it in your head as you're recalling, but that'll come with playing more games and learning the champ. Yeah, that was more because I was like, oh yeah, we're going Dark Soul now, and you're like, no, we're going this instead. Yeah, and I was like, oh. So yeah. I, would, I would just be this straight away. Um, yeah. So with, with these two items, if this is a Dark Soul or an Amp term, it doesn't matter, you drop your E here. And you last hit the melees, and the ranged will just die. That's why the yep. dark seal or the anthem is important. Right. And what that'll do is, uh... yeah. So if you don't, you don't even have to walk up for these if you don't want to. You see how they just die. Yeah. And now we've got a neutral wave. So if you do nothing, um, the wave will come to you again. So this is something that you can use a lot. Is that. If you can kill this wave before this wave comes, which you easily can, uh, instead of it pushing back into her off of the turret, it'll just go neutral again. So I use that. I use that a lot in matchups where they're trying to freeze on. Like Gwen wants to freeze on you right now and try and punish you early. Maybe set up a gank on you. We don't want that to happen. So yeah. now, now we're back to the try to e her, but. Not without hitting any minions again, because we still want this coming into us. We're not at the point. So like here, now we're pushing. I don't really like pushing here, but she's low enough that I think it's fine, and you're level six. I think since what well, at some point in every lane, if you start winning, you're gonna feel like you'll just get this feeling of like. My E's are destroying her. And at that point, you can start being really aggressive and, like, like trying to get her into kill range. But like here, you see how much your E's are doing? It might, like, if she tries to fight you now, you'll just kill her. Um, but when you're playing like this, and you're starting to be really aggressive with your E's, what, what do you think the, the most important thing is? To not hit the wave. Oh, no, you can, you can still hit the wave. Like, you can start E'ing her under turret. But uh, right. there's one main thing that can stop you eating her under turret. I'm um, being dead, like well, I'm in there, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to make sure you know where the jungler is. So this ward is really good for if you want to do this now. Um, yeah. Yeah, like here, I would just ear again. Once their health gets low, you just keep eating them. You don't let them breathe. And if you want to drag the wave as well, you can by eating off to the side. So like here, that, um, oh, let's see, this is just some more E placement stuff. So we're stacking, we're letting the wave come in, this is good. And then this minion here, if you watch, like, right now, we could E up here and get this minion and Gwen. And that'd be mm -hmm. really good, because we're just last hitting one minion and we're hitting Gwen and the wave's still coming, you know? Yeah. So it's these little E placement things that make the lane really good for Nasus. So this is a case where I think you could have killed her. Um, 
What you're looking yeah, for with the lethal tempo is that if she dashes in on you, you just wither all and start killing her. Yeah, there was the initial panic where trying to dodge the cure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't and... really matter. You will just win with wither all because she can't get out of your E either. So you just wither E like directly on top of her and just start like yeah. you do wither all auto Q. Oh, 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 because oh, you start autoing really fast with lethal tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Then keep running and then out of the Yeah, so you're with us so yeah. late as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you would beat her if you just withered her at the start and started smacking her. Like, if she's withered while she doesn't have E, she can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure why I held off on Mother. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's really healthy enough to freeze this, so it's fine that you didn't push it all the way in. It would have pushed all the way in if you just dropped your E slightly further up. Shut down. That's okay. So the the main thing that it looks like is missing currently is like the Eing off to the side and like you can just practice that in practice tool, like place a training dummy and try to clip it with the edge of the E, just so that you can like get a muscle memory for how big your E is. Yeah. But other than that, like, understanding that most of the time you want the wave coming into you. So, this resets the wave. So now we can let this come back into us. So now we're looking for, like... She's standing directly in the wave, so you can't really E her right now. But if she ever walks out, that's when you can look for an E. So like when she was here a second ago, maybe you could have eat here. Could have yeah. got her. You just want to keep an eye out for them and keep looking. So this is where I was saying you could eat on the corner of the bush. I think so I was saying you could eat just here. Yeah. And it would, like, hit her, but it wouldn't hit these. But that was, like, where I was trying to explain to you how eating off to the side works. But I'm pretty sure, by this point, I think you've, you've figured it out. You just need to go and practice it. Yeah. So, yeah, so far, mostly just the eating off to the side thing and being a bit more confident in the all-ins. Like, just... Um... I know, I know when you haven't played it, you don't have that feeling of, oh, I win this. But the reason I take these runes is so that you just win if she does that. Yeah, even on Champions, uh, like, Orn's a bit easier because uh, I can, I've played so much of Orn recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a terrifying moment. Uh, yeah, I've played so much of Orn re recently, it's a lot easier to judge. But on champions that I'm not comfortable in, I won't take a fight unless it's like it's extremely obvious that I win these. Like, yeah, unless I've got like a massive CS lead or a massive level lead or at least like an extra item or something. Just like bear in mind that it's okay to die to learn. Yeah, I, I do do that, but I also try my best not to just yeah and to learn. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, can I win this? Like that guy's sitting there massively like. I know that uh, nah, this is weak early and that Gwen's a bit stronger because she's a bruiser, so it was like, uh... Mm -hmm. I have an issue as well of, like, interpreting information literally, so, like, uh, one of your... When you do, like, your hour-long thing and I go through some of the matchups, like, anytime I come into a matchup that I've not done before, I listen to, like, you go over, like, the little minute of it, and yeah. there's times you say something like, oh, if he tries to fight you, he just dies. And I, like, I'm now aware that, or after doing it enough, I'm aware that you mean once you've poked them down, yeah. there's been times where, yeah, like, I still help. My expectation you're is that you're poking them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, I'm processing it literally, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll win this, because, like, anytime he tries to fight me, he dies, and then I just go ahead and throw health, he's throw health, I get... <laughs> Okay. That's me so, being an idiot though, and less. I think the rest of the lane is very similar. Yeah. 
see if anything actually happens of anything worth noting. Oh, we got it all in here. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't actually see the items very well in game, but I would be somewhat nervous here because she's got Rift Maker and you've just got components. Yeah. But I even so, yeah. Yeah, I never pressed tab to check. One of the issues that I had in this game as well was because I uh, I had flash instead of ghost. Ah. I was like, oh, what would I spend my flash on it to the point where I would just never flash? I didn't have it here to be fair. But whenever I was in fights with her, I was like, did I dodge this part of the or that part? Because normally when you've got ghosts, you can just run around them all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright. The, the biggest reason, <laughs> uh, apart from item spikes, the biggest reason you lost this fight, can you figure out what it is? I'm eating a lot of the ult shots and a lot of the true damage. That is pretty or big, is but I think it could still be very close, or you might even win. If there was something, if, the, if one thing went differently at the start. Uh, I ulted before it queued. There's that as well, that's another thing you can improve on, but the main thing is that, like, if you look at how we've skilled, right? One yeah. of our power budget of nine is in our Q, three of our power budget of nine is in our W, and five is in our E, and you actually miss yeah. the E, and then you fight her outside of the E. And the, the E armor strike, like, if we track Gwen's armor here, yeah. so she's got 91 armor right now, if you were to yeah. hit her. And then, I don't think it actually... Yeah, she goes down to 50 when your E hits, but now she's up to 140. So right. she, she's got more than double the armor there than she would have when you were fight, if you were fighting her inside the E. It's like, now she's down to 50 again. And if the entire fight she was at 50 armor... Yeah, the one that won that easily. I mean, she's taking 49% reduced damage here, but... Here... He's taking 33% reduced, so it's a lot more damage that you'd be dealing. Yeah, it should have been dead. Yeah. And that's with her having Rift Maker, so if you imagine, you know, a more normal item yeah. balance. Yeah, that's like, if you, if you do, like, sometimes we miss E's, right? It, it happens. But if you do miss the E, then in that case, you don't want to commit to the all-in. But if, if you hit the E there then, and you're fighting in the E, you can for sure all in her. Yeah, I think like a lot of the mistakes I make, um, other than like the E placements and uh, whatever the opposite was on the that you said, what was it exactly? Uh, e placements and something else that was like a main thing. Um, I'd say. That's a great question. I said it two minutes ago and I've forgotten already. Yeah. There's all right. The the big things were queuing before you go into your ult. That was one. There's the e placements, and there's, um, I guess being more confident in the all ins. Yeah. Another issue that I, I have is that I make tiny little. That one's not really a tiny little mistake, but it's like a small mistake that like fucks over. Yeah. The entire. Play. Yeah. No, it's fine. The, these things get ironed out with practice, like. If you throw 10,000 Ds, eventually you're going to get to the point where you miss a lot less of them than you did before you threw the 10,000 Ds. Yeah. In that situation, I should have just reset and then tried again later. But... So let's check this all in. So the big things we want are we want her to dash in and then... Alright, so... Again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so here's, th this is exactly the same as if you play against Jax or if you play against Aurelia. You don't want to E where they're coming from. You want to E on you yourself. E on yourself yeah. yeah, so she's going to dash in on you. You're going to E on her, and then you're going to wither or kill her. That's like Yeah, going through, the VOD, going through the VOD twice and watching her do that in both all ends, I'm like, yeah, I just want to E myself. <laughs> yep. Because again, I would imagine it's probably somewhat close. Here as well, you were kind of nervous. But you can see that you're like. Oh no, I was waiting for E cooldown to come back up. I'm pretty sure at that okay, point I wanted yeah. to waste our W, uh, get Wither, and get E back up. Yeah, that was the fight that uh, I was. I was like, oh fuck, I pressed Wither, but it was still on cooldown for like mm. 0 0.8 seconds when I pressed it, and I didn't notice for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a, a big thing you can learn with trade patterns against champions that have dashes that can go on you. Like, same with Renekton, same with Jax, um, 
Jace when he's in his hammer form, Gwen, Riven, Aurelia, all these champs, when they're going in, you're like, you're ready for them to go in on you, and then you eat yourself. And then you fight them. Which you did here, but this guy's just too far ahead. Yeah. And the biggest problem isn't that he's this far ahead. I mean, it is a big problem, but the biggest it's problem is that you've spent your gold on MR. Yeah. To fight Gwen. So you're not ready to fight Renekton yet. Yeah. I thought it would have been the sword as well would not have helped. The chain sword, yeah. I mean, that definitely doesn't help. Alright, so now we're getting into, like, mid-game, late-game macro. So now we're wanting to properly play around objectives. Um, I don't have objective timers on, but clearly the dragon is spawning, but I think this one's just gone. Yeah. Get the timers on. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just go and catch bot wave here. And then yeah, I knew that this dragon was gone, so I was, yeah. I knew the dragon was gone, so I was going for a bot lane so that I could TP Baron if it ever was pressured. Yep, makes sense. Uh... Well, I wasn't expecting it was just for the Kai'Sa to pop out Tribush alone, <laughs> blasting Conan over in, in the process as well. Okay, I mean, your team just kill everyone. That works. Um, I think you could be a little less scared of her here. She can't, like, her champ can't do anything to you if she's withered. Yeah. But it's fine. Like, you're having a, a rough game and you're just wanting to not let anything else not happen. Uh, here, yeah. okay, so here what I wanted you to do was just either wave and then base and buy your Trinity Force and go and defend this because we see Gwen yeah. pushing. Um, But you're a little slow on that, so ended up losing the tower. Yeah. And then we're back into objective setup. But it's good now that you're top, like, the rotation's really good. If you defended the tower, it would have been perfect, because then you've based, shopped, come to defend something, and now you're in the correct lane for macro. So you can push this out, and then go Baron. And then this was, like, the one of the only proper team fights that you had, and it looks really good. Like, Nasus is really good at team fights. Here, I, I normally don't go in the pit and start hitting the Baron. I normally stand here and zone people out. I think Nasus is really good at zoning people off. Yeah. Um, because like, what what people have to do that's difficult when they're walking into dragon fights, not as much against Samira, but definitely against like Ash, against Caitlyn, they have to walk into your AD carry and take damage, right? And if you're dropping your E on them and withering them, they're gonna take even more, and they just can't get in. Looks like your team yeah. are turning. You wither Gwen, which I think is probably the best wither there. Yep. And now the the best wither becomes Kaiser. Uh, yeah, whether Renekton, I think, instead. Or, I don't know, actually. No, I think, I think he Renekton died. Side. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen the weather go off on her at the end there, so... I don't know why Lux leaves here. This should just be an easy Baron where no one dies. But Lux, on for so, like, she just... I don't know, she just leaves. <laughs> Very strange. I think she's going to, like, sort of when Baron procs it and forces it. Yeah, she's going right into their base. She tried to end by herself, <laughs> Jesus. Dragon happens. Alright. Uh what, what do what do you think you should do here with dragon spawning in ten seconds? From like you've just respawned. What would you do here? Uh, either head top and push it or at least use the fucking hex gates that I always forget about. <laughs> True. I, normally what yeah. I would do is just run straight to the dragon. Because it's not like you've got time to get to a side lane and push it before the dragon spawns. It's going to spawn. So just go yeah. straight there. Yeah, you forget about the hex gate. Although getting this mid wave is good, to be fair. So I think not taking yeah. the hex gate on this occasion. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't consider that uh, I ran mid because uh, there was two people pushing it originally. So mm -hmm. I went there to defend the turret. Here, I think you got a bit greedy for kills. For no I reason. did get greedy. And I, was, <laughs> I was doing so bad and everything looked so tasty. And then the dragon. Yeah. Doesn't look like a good. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a good decision when you view it that way. <laughs> yeah. I know it wasn't a good decision, I was just. I wanted something for my efforts. And then here we're going bot because we have TP and Baron's up soon. Pressuring in for Vlad, backing off. Ideally, your team would still be mid pressuring, but 
They don't? Yeah, they can zone. I'm pretty sure I said that during the game as well, yeah, instead of the did. tick move. Yeah, you yeah. did. And then pressuring in again. Mother Renekton, kill Gwen, Tick thing. Here, I would just oh, start hitting the tower with the ash. Yeah, still... I would have because he was on my face. Huh? Yeah. It doesn't actually. One thing that you've got to think about is that Wither is either insanely powerful or does literally nothing. Like an Amumu on your face, Wither literally doesn't change anything. Yeah. But a Wither on Ash removes her from the game. It's weird yeah. how polarizing of a spell it is. Um, yeah, so I think what we should do is we could, because we're on the same server, which is a change for me in these sessions, we can hop Ooh. into a custom game. And you can practice like eating off to the side. So I'll like I'll try and slow push a wave in, or like maybe I'll even yeah I'll just try and play a lane against you, right? And then you try and e me while not pushing the wave, and just have some practice at doing that. Cool. Yeah, and you get out of this lobby, I think. Do I not have you added? Surely I have you added, right? You beat the hell out of me in a tournament, and then you don't add me. That's really upsetting. I'm sure I did you. Did you remove me? Is that what happened? Did you need a space? I, I don't feel, I feel like I wouldn't remove you, no. I don't know. There you go. I thought we knew each other, poor oh, Cool. You can just keep uh, the same runes, because I'll, I'll go Gwen. Cool. So yeah, the main focus is going to be try and E me. I'll, I'll put myself in positions where I can get E'd, and I want to see if you can notice them and then go for them. And if you miss, it's fine. Just try again. <laughs> and if you miss again, fine, try again. But the, the, the key part is noticing them and then hitting them you can practice. You can like, figure out how, how big the range is on your E. You get used to like what it is going to hit and what it isn't going to hit. Stuff yeah. like that. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Definitely try to practice the first E as well, because the first E is going to be the same pretty much every single game. It's real. Like, unless you're deliberately wanting to start pushing into them, you're almost always going to E the first three creeps and try to hit them as well, but not hit the caster creeps. Yeah. That's like the standard first E. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. So yeah, one thing that I'm like I try to be really efficient with is my like I'll try to make my uh, like min maxing my E's. So I'll use an E that like CS's one minion hits them, but doesn't push the rest of the wave. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of what I talk about in lane in my guides. I thought it was being main gamed a little. I tried, the reason I was messing mana there is like, I'm going to try and practice everything he said, and I went down here and eat, uh, you can't see my ping shit. I fucking eat that bush to see if I get the mana flow proc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, maybe he'll sit in here to try and reinforce that. Let's see. Oh, on this the preset. There you go. So there you hit the yeah. casters. Yeah. So now I can hold the wave. Well, oh, uh, I got a ping spike there. I seen you walk into the space and then I couldn't react to it because you walked over like nearly between the two bushes. <laughs> So here you could uh, be looking to E me, you see? Yeah. It's actually if you drop it in the bush like that, it's invisible for me. The blackness won't hurt anyone. You see I, I haven't done anything other than click minions and I'm now pushing into you again. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah, still had two minions with it. So 
That's another good one. Card, that one. It definitely it looks better every time. Oh, I missed Cannon. Great. You got it on recording, too. That's <laughs> a really good one. That one's perfect. Yeah. I need to learn the range of it better because it's very clear what I'm doing when he like very rigidly walks in a diagonal line. <laughs> you can even like if you I don't know if you have it bound to not smart cast a spell, but I have mine on if I press control and the spell, then it will not smart cast it. So you can use that to like know exactly where it's gonna go. That one's great. Obviously, like normally a, a Gwen's gonna trade with you, but we're just practicing the Eve right now. Yeah. Ah, just out of the bush. But yeah, these E's are a lot better than what you were doing in the first, like the last, I think the past two that you did, except the one just now in the bush, but... You did two perfect ones. Yeah. And now that one's also good because now you're trying to reset the wave. Good that you identify that. So this E usage has gotten, like just inside this game, the E usage has gotten a lot better. Yeah. Ah, they won't know the And now you can base and get a good reset. Nice. That's good. Uh, I don't know. I've been trying to give. I got some feedback. That it would be good for me to give people like practice exercises. I'm gonna leave this custom game now. Um. So yeah. that that is one of the main things to practice. I don't know whether there's any like practice tool exercise you can do other than just placing training dummies and trying to clip them with the E, but I think it's better to just keep playing games and just keep trying to do it and you'll get better with it naturally yeah. over time. Yeah, that is entirely my viewpoint on it as well. I don't enjoy sitting in the practice though, even like when I play fighting games and stuff like that as well, I used to do tournaments for those. I never enjoyed sitting labbing combos. I just I enjoy playing the game and learning it as I go yep. rather than I uh, suck with auditory information as well. So like sitting doing this was a lot better because it was easier to have it corrected as I did it so I could see the mistake mm -hmm. rather than sit and watch someone else do it and try and apply it to myself. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so do you want to like do another game and try and put that into practice? The thing that I think you're doing really well, like there, I didn't have to say anything once once the wave started shoving back into me, you immediately changed your E pattern without me saying anything to Eing the whole wave, and that's really good. Yeah. I'm normally pretty good at when someone points out a mistake, immediately correcting that mistake. As long as it's not like something fucking hyper complex, like a Revan animation can. So, <laughs> like, uh, I Maybe can usually do very basic stuff very quickly. Maybe the stream doesn't like being popped out. Let's try this. I should probably stop streaming. No, it's still just blurry as shit, but oh well, I, I don't know what I can do about it. We take those. Uh, let's see. Any of these work fine of them? Hey. Oh. I mean, I have so much fucking blue essence at this point that I could probably AFK from the game for free yields and buy all the new champs when I came back, but it, it's still nice to get the big ones. Oh, nice. Last pick. Yeah. It's really weird as well. It massively blurs the top half of the screen, but the bottom half of the screen is fine. Oh, no, actually, it's streaming to the client. It doesn't matter what. I moved that to the bottom half of my fucking monitor. <laughs> <laughs> A big brain to myself. I'm just going to keep Googling fixes for it and see if I can find anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit, I said I would uh, try and help explore options if you had been up for downloading some things to just 
see if any of them worked better. Cool, their top winner is probably in the first two picks then. Yep, it's Yorick. Uh, do you know what the runes are off by heart for Yorick? Yeah, I take the airy setup, the same as Gangplank. So, airy mana flow. Airy. Yeah, airy mana flow, these two yep. green, and then it's, uh, what is it? Second, Second wind. wind. Yep. Yeah. Because he's looking uh, to milk you out with his E and then armor. Yep. Perfect. And since I am trying to learn the runes, because I normally just take whatever runes I'm told to, I'll spend some time actually fucking reading these and seeing what they do. Uh. Apparently I could empty my Discord app, and that might help. I might try that while you're loading in. So I'll delay the lock-in as well. Case. Discord. Yeah. Okay, I'll probably have to close Discord for this. One sec. Alright, well that's been deleted. Try again now. Hello. Hello, fuck, uh, ghost. <laughs> I sat there all the time in the world just not doing anything and then the last 30 seconds I was like, oh shit, I still have ghost. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to overreact because it looks good right now, but like, it might not stay good. You can't tell it that it looks good because that's when it immediately fucks up. It's like when you were a kid and you had a PS2 and the game was taking forever to load. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it must be broke. I'll just stand up and reset the play. And the second you stand up, boom, it loads. <laughs> We're on red side again. That says red side, doesn't it? Or is that red side? I don't know if it flo I've, I've started side, wondering. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I started wondering recently because I'd never paid any attention to it. I was like, does it flip the colors? And I've been sitting gaslighting myself like back and forth. Like, I'm trying oh, not to like, overreact, but it still yeah. looks good. Like, it's still watchable. I think the yeah. cash solution might have been the, the one. Cool. I'm going to have to give that a try myself. Yeah, uh, what was I going to say? So what time should I want to walk up to that bush at? Like a minute in or something? Yeah, 50 seconds, something like that. Cool. Like, you're in this bush now, so they might be in that bush. Yeah. Just... You got a little too close there as well. You don't need to... Just like you don't need to centre it on the wave, you don't need to centre it on the bush to check it. Uh oh he used her flash against Blitzcrank, but the Blitz didn't try and... Oh, you already hooked. Okay. So Yorick is, like, really easy if you dodge his E. The only thing he can do to you is EU, and his if he ever tries to summon ghouls, he will push the wave into you, and you can stack his ghouls. And you, can, you just E him in the face, and that's that. Yeah. So if he's got ghouls alive, you can be really liberal with your E, because his ghouls are just going to push the wave anyway. But yeah, we're looking for the standard standard E. Gonna mess that one. Yeah, he's uh, changed how it's going because he hit creeps. You can get those two with the E. Oh. Uh. You still want to be Eing though, even if it changes up like that. If he like walks in and hits it, you still want to use your E. A lot of matchups, it's kind of scary to walk up, but 
I think he cancelled his auto multiple times on you. That's a good E. The only problem I have with that E is that you mistimed it with your mana flow. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, but the, the placement of the E was really good, so that's a yeah. good thing. So here Maybe. you've got mana flow, so you could just E him. Yeah. Oh, Focusing too much, I'm trying to get these minions. Yeah, don't worry if, if you're trying to learn something, don't worry if the other aspects of your game look ah, a bit worse go. while you're learning, because when you're focusing on something, the things that you don't focus so much on are going to get worse. But once you get the thing that you're focusing on to a point where you don't need to focus on it so much, then those things will come back. Nice. I don't have weather for this. Yeah, I'll just ping him back. It's not a good thing. It's not a good wave to gank on. Yeah. I try out of that and cancel the out. Yeah. You gonna base for Dark Seal? Or oh, I guess you have to help him. Yeah. Oh, he still wants this, Jesus. Yeah, now I've been slowed this enough. Yeah. Are they still keeping this going? I, mean, I think you have to help him if he... Yeah, I'm coming. This is such a bad choice. No. Yeah, just go back to lane. I wanted to get one more E on before I fucked up. Yeah, it's good you get a mana flow. Looks like a dark seal and mana crystal angle. Okay. It's, called, it's called Sapphire. Yeah. Oh, you can actually <laughs> search mana and you still get it nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of things like that. Uh, Twin Shadows, I think it used to be called. You could like search spooky ghosts and it would come up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a look at the wave while you're walking back the lane. Infinitely more useful than just looking at nothing, because he did have a bit of a freeze, but it seems that he's broken it, so. Yeah. So now you're in a really good spot, because you're going to get level 5 while he's recalling. He's going to use his teleport as well, and then um, if I ever have TP advantage, this is something we've not covered, because I don't think we've really had TP advantage yet. Uh, I'll I can I'll often look to trade my mana for his health yeah. and then base TP. Yeah, that's one of the things that uh, I've tried to pick up on that you mentioned in the video. Isn't it lovely just picking up caster creeps without even trying because the E just one shots them. I'm trying my best to like not hit the wave here, but mm -hmm. I mean, you actually tagged him with that with like one tick. You got an airy frock, so you were very close to hitting him. Good. Alright, once he get once he gets six, he's gonna if he summons the maiden, you just auto them and stack them. Um uh, yeah, when he summons the maiden, eing the maiden is really good. For some reason it Feels like it does a lot of damage to the Maiden. I guess it's just coded to do full damage to it, but a few E's on the Maiden and you can actually kill it. Your Q does a lot to it as well. Yorick's extremely reliant on his Maiden, so. Yeah. I normally try to, uh, if I'm in a fight with Yorick, I try to kill the Maiden as quickly as possible because he was the shit of. Yeah. Or at the very most, I try to at least have the Maiden dead before it, uh, either dead or low, so that I can kill it with like an AoE or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is there. Um, I would drop an E on him here and then run down the river. I don't know if you know, but at this timing is when the plant spawns. So you could probably oh. refill your mana. You see, there it is. 
Yeah, seven minutes in, plants won't kill. It's like it's no. between six thirty and seven. Right. So there's, this, no. there's, there's some randomness to it, but it's not something I would generally keep track of. But there we go. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it's not massive, but if you're poking them out and they get it, then it is massive. So. Yeah. yeah. These will pull turret aggro off the minions at least. Mm -hmm. I want to secure this guy. Ah, oh, fuck it. If he's going to walk in like that, I'm just going to eat it. Yeah. Good. Oh, this is so nice that I can actually watch the game without it being blurry as shit. Yeah, he's got Sheen. Uh, and uh, he used the whole his corrupts and pots. I could just. What am I doing? <laughs> he's in the river again? Oh, he's going for. Thingy. Crab? Cool. You want to push then? And yep. Get the wave on his turret? I'm going to ping him this one. I'm trying to ward over the wall, see what's going on. I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get involved with this. I didn't see nothing. Yeah, that's okay. He lost a full wave. Well, more than a full wave, because there was a couple of extra troops as well. Yeah. And traded dragon for it, which is good. So I'm not coming back in. I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh, there he is there. <laughs> Bastard. Ah, I panicked on that book here. Cool, he just pushed all that out again. No! Why did. Oh, my brain is bad. I think it's okay oh, against Yorick because he's his maiden and ghouls hit any. Like, it's really hard to yeah. push into Yorick. My brain seen the good opportunity there where I was like, oh, I can drop this E, I just have to make sure it doesn't hit the minions. And then for some and reason, the my brain was did. like. No, it wasn't the next wave came. My brain, for some reason, was like, don't hit your own minions. So I, uh, I cast that away from my own wave. I've been trading oh, my mana. As well. oh. Get back here, you! Oh, it's so Get sad back so here. much. Can I wither it? No, <laughs> unfortunately not. Oh, he's still sitting there as well. Oh no, it's gone blurry again. Restarted it and it seems okay again now. Yo, I have 1.7k at this point. He's still here actually, I'll just keep trying. Oh, I think you could have killed his maiden there. Two go. Two go. Two go. <laughs> Oh, nah, oh, 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 no, <laughs> it's so bad, it's on 60 health. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the maiden there, Jesus. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Why did you do that? It's on 37 health. Oh, 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 yes! Kill it, there you go. I can't remember, is it on cooldown from the point that he casts it, or on the point that it dies? I think it's on dies? cooldown from the point it dies. Right, cool. Yeah, it must be because it's permanent if it, if you don't kill it. So yeah, right. You got a lot of money. I'd probably just take away from base. He's still here. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, if nothing's cool. happening, it's winning for you. Right, what yeah, are we buying? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm panicking right now because I just seen that boss crank start making its way towards me. It's always uh, cooldown boots. We know that for cool. sure. Yep. Sheen is really good uh, if you can get it. Buckler. And buckler, yeah. It's like Sheen, buckler, and cooldown boots are the things you want, and you can afford all of them. Yep. So awesome. Ah, the most excited keyboard. Uh, you're spiking running. really hard now. Yeah. You got a good amount of stacks. You got a Sheen. You got cooldown boots and buckler. Right, what do you normally do in this situation when you've got these in your inventory? Actually, I've still got this, but normally if like you had six items, okay. would you just wait to get the full Triforce? Or? The potion becomes the Hearthbound Axe, and then I'll wait for the Triforce. Or if for some reason I've got something else in my bag, I'd probably sell Doran's Ring before I sell Dark Seal. Yeah. 
I mean, doing it the other way around, I mean, selling Dark Seal, if it's, like, not got any stacks on it, or, like, I don't feel like I can reliably stack it, I've been mean, selling Dark Seal. Yeah. Which may be the number two. If Dark Seal has more stacks on it, I've been mean, selling Dorans, but, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the Eerie, because he stepped on it. Uh, Horsey. Ryan, are you in there? <laughs> what, um, <laughs> what keystone does Hecarim have this game? Uh, Ah, oh, okay. He's not as susceptible to Wither then. Yeah. Dodge. The dodge. Very good. So it's not really as important anymore, but keep trying to do the ease off to the side just for the sake of practice, even though it's not particularly relevant in the game. Yeah. Just keep practicing it. Because the more you do it, the better you'll get it. Yeah, the field. No, not really a lot to get out of that. This must be really good. Okay, yeah. Yo, whoa, holy shit! I was gonna say, like, the amount of damage he did to you, he has to be pretty fed. She tag. Oh, no, 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 you can't get away with that. Fuck you. <laughs> no, not that. I don't want to hear from you ever again. <laughs> Uh, this is one of those games where like everyone else is getting completely shit on, so you just have to keep focusing on what you can improve. Yep. Uh, try to get rid of the fishy, I think, would be the one thing. Bad fishy. Oh. She back. I'll just start heading up here. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. And get the rest. He's probably on Raptors. Uh, Yorick's gonna start pushing. Fuck. Uh, I've got that. I've got that. I no longer have it. Ah, uh, why did he go that way? What the fuck is he up to? He's seen me. He's probably fucked up. He's still there. Yeah, decisions! <laughs> no, I just need to go for the farm. Nothing's happening here. Used to fucking stare at No, I missed the cannon for oh. all that fucking third decision. I was too fucking playing peekaboo with one another. What was that? Ah, oh, Soraka. Run away. <laughs> Either way, then run away. I missed the casters. Wait. Yeah, you want to hit the casters with that either. You're fine. He can't kill you here. I fucked up the thing again. Mm. Come back here, you. No. Uh, didn't really lose a lot there. They lose that. Uh, he. Wins the game. <laughs> yeah, there's not uh, much you can learn from this. This is a classic top lane game, but. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so now, now that we've looked at um, throwing those E's off to the side, the main thing I'm noticing is when I started playing Emax Nasus, I was Eing too much. I think you're Eing slightly too little. Right. You should be eating the enemy champion more, and mm -hmm. that's going to do two things. If you if you start eating more, you don't want to run out of mana. That's the only problem. Uh, yeah. But it'll you'll get more damage on them, which will give you all in windows, and also you'll use more ease. And if you you if you're practicing the eating off to the side thing, the more of them you do, the more practice you're going to get every game. So I think. Right. Take what we took from last game, and you're practicing that, and that's really good. And also try to E just a bit more. Like, try to find 
try to experiment in your games and find where that line is that you're like applying a consistent level of pressure to them, but you're not going out of mana. Yeah. An enemy is legendary. Oh, spaghetti yours. Like if you think that every time you're in lane, you've got except like you've got this amount of mana, try to use it. You know, you don't want to like you don't want to waste you have this mana, you may as well use it. Why is everyone here? Leave me alone. I'm leaving this boy. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna walk up to me. What prick? No. Uh, everyone in the game was just like, oh, top lane's the place to be. <laughs> I love this role, it's so impactful. Mm -hmm. ne neither top laner has a kill. <laughs> oh, we still don't have a threat. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a pretty sad game, but <laughs> these happen quite a lot. You can still practice in them. Yeah, that's not my thought process for them. Uh, gonna get one shot by the Fez again, let's go! I was like, oh, I feel a bit safer now, and then immediately chomper before I could even say the sentence. Well, mm -hmm. get back here, please. <laughs> oh, he's sending it. Okay. Get away from me. No. Oh, I tried to move my hand the wrong way to start with. There's not a great deal I can say here because you are just fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. Like you have an AFK and the enemy mid is 20 0 at 19 minutes. Fuck you, mid. We do it. We win the 4v5. Imagine it on your channel. Imagine the big bucks it will bring. <laughs> I like the optimism. You're like, I coached this man to a 4v5 where he played like dog shit. Ask me anything, Reddit. That was, was that an enemy ward? I was dying. I mean, if I can somehow find a way to get stacks off that little fucker, then my life will be a lot easier, but somehow I don't see that happening. Oh, this is going down. I can't even defend that. I'll just start moving on and defending this. Yeah, I kind of want this to happen anyway. I just want waves pushing in that I can get to, as long as they can't end off them, that is. Come on, minions. Come in, hunt here. Are they fighting? Jesus. What's that heck run? <laughs> there you go. No! That was mine. Yeah, I don't see this one being the great comeback that you were no, suggesting. I don't, think so. I, don't, I don't think your channel is really. I think it's all downhill from here. <laughs> oh, no. It's over for me. It's over. <laughs> I think you're getting a bad Yelp review on this one. <laughs> Okay, those games have not really much you can do about them.
All right, so I've made some notes. These are like the four things that I would give you to practice on going forward, like from here. And then, yeah, if, if we do another session at some point, we can um, look at how these things have improved and then we can find more things. Because I, I don't I don't think it's ever right to give someone like 300 things that they're that they can improve yeah. on and expect them to learn all of them. I think these would be the biggest four that would get you like the best results. Yeah. Obviously one we've been over. Two is what I noticed in that Yorick game. You're just not quite eating enough. You're not being aggressive enough in length. Um particularly it's I'm gonna add to it particularly after first base. Um, what you'll notice after your first base is you come back with that mana crystal and you've got some mana flow stacks and you can E. It feels like you can E twice as much as you could before. Right. Um, three, what we talked about at that Baron fight, like you don't really need to be in the pit hitting the objective yourself. You want to zone the enemy team off, wither them as they're trying to walk in, drop your E on them, things like this. Uh, make it so that they have to walk through you and into your AD carry if they want to get into the objective. And then four, like I said, you want to have a plan, like you want to be thinking about who the best targets on the enemy team for your E and your W are when you're going into team fights. Cool. These all seem like fairly simple things to make massive improvements on. Yep. The, the number one, I think, is the biggest thing. Like you were getting better at it just in that, like just throughout the duration of that custom game, you were getting noticeably better. And the better you get at that, I think it's like mechanically the biggest thing for you to improve on. Yeah, and then all these other things are like thought process things that you can look to do better. Cool. All right. Yeah, the second one was uh, like I wear my mana down so quickly on the on the first base that like I'm, yeah you you do I'm, like, on, like levels yeah. one to five before you've based your mana goes down so fast but that's why we take the mana flow and the mana crystal once you've got the mana flow stacked and the mana crystal you have the ability to start spamming ease up. Again, this is a uh, part of the issue. Let's see, because <laughs> my rune knowledge is terrible. What does mana flow band actually do? <laughs> every, every time you hit someone with it, it gives you twenty five maximum mana up to ten times, yeah. and then once you've completed it, as well as giving you the two hundred and fifty bonus mana, it gives you extra mana regen as well. Cool. Yeah, that's very helpful. So now I know that uh, once I stack that ten times, I can just go wild. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for the help. You're very welcome. I hope you had a good time. It was enjoyable. The second time felt a lot like the first time was nervous because I was like, I'm going to make mistakes and I won't know how to correct those mistakes. Uh, and then the second one, it was, oh, I don't know the mistakes I'm making. I, I can correct them a bit more and the mistakes won't be as brutal this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the laning phase in the second game definitely looked better than in the first game, but obviously the game, the enemy phase is literally 20 and 0. Like, what are you going to yeah. do? <laughs> that is a crazy game. I want to see that guy. Did he just pop off, or was he like smurfing? What happened here? Uh, all right. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's smurfing. I'd say he's just somebody who's climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, he's definitely not smurfing here. That he's getting ghosted. <laughs> Holy shit, that's more games I've played in like the last fucking five years combined. That is a lot <laughs> of wins. Holy shit. Yeah. At fifty percent win rate, that man has played in eight hundred and forty-six games in a single season. I'm sorry that the end of your uh, your coaching session is just me roasting this man alive. After, <laughs> but, uh, after he completely destroyed you as well. Yeah, he completely destroyed me, and I was like, obviously, and I was like, oh, whoa, no, that's bad. How that, has that happened to? How do you like actively queue into games and just that? <laughs> I mean, what have I done in solo queue this season? Uh, yeah, about like 100, 100 games. games. Yeah. yeah. It's a, nearly a 60% win rate, actually. So, yeah, about 100. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm right, at about well, yeah. a 60% win Just uh, rate right now. keep practicing, and, and while you're practicing, like, try to be, like, don't practice on autopilot, you know, try to be conscious of these things. 
yeah, that's one of the big things that I've been doing to improve recently is uh, constantly paying attention because I want. I was sitting there like I want to try and hit plat again this season. It's been years because uh, I FK from the game for so long. I was like, I want my plat back. I will actively pay attention. And then they went, "Good news, everyone! We're announcing Emerald the new plat." And I was like, "God damn it! No, I didn't aim for that." Yeah. So, uh, to get there, I'm gonna have to be actively paying attention a lot more and mm-hmm. actively improving a lot but more because I have let down the ladder <laughs> the biggest like really good thing that i've noticed is that your understanding of when to do what with the wave is really good so yeah um that's like a really good sign for playing masses yeah basically if it's not pushing into me i want to push it out uh i i have a very like because i'm so out of practice i've I've regained a very basic concept of freezing i'm still really bad at maintaining a freeze so like i can set one up for like a couple of waves and then it's fucked okay yeah uh, unless I'm on someone like Orn, like someone that's super tanky, and it doesn't matter if it's fucked because I'll just stand there and tank it till the next wave comes in, uh, and I'll try and thin it down a bit so that it stops doing that. But uh, yeah, for someone like Nazus that can't quite, unless it's later in the game when he can just mm-hmm. life steal Q shot one shot all the minions. Uh, but yeah, I struggle to keep the the wave at a manageable manageable size to continue a freeze. Yeah. All right. And keep it out of the top. Because oh, sometimes they just like to go there. Yeah, they do. Well, good luck in your games, and I hope uh, I hope these things help. Uh, yeah, that will definitely help in the Nasus games. Maybe like some of the more general stuff will help in the other games as well. But definitely, that I'm sure the Nasus games will improve at this rate. Nice. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, All right. Have a good day. Cool. I'll catch you later, Poro. Thank you for the help. Bye. Bye.